Welcome to week three, day two of remote physical education. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the lessons so far. Today we're going to be looking at different patterns, figuring out patterns, and then doing an exercise to complete the pattern. <clears throat> um, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave a comment down below. If you want to see something in a future video or have requests for future videos, any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment, email me. I'll put my email in the comments or description. Um, reach out, please, whether it's to me, any other specialist, Mrs. Lovely. We really want to get through this. Um, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so for pattern fitness day one, we will be doing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different exercises for a certain amount each time the shape they're associated with comes up in a pattern. You will have to do a series of patterns, you have to figure out what shape is missing, and then perform the exercise associated with it. Now let's look at the exercises that we will be doing today with a quick explanation of each and which fitness component they cover. First up we have windmill stretches. This is a flexibility exercise as well as a cardio endurance exercise. What you're going to do is stand with your feet spread. Then you are going to take your arms and put them out to your side. Now, turning at your waist, you're going to stretch down with your opposite hand to your opposite foot. So your right hand will go to your left foot. You go back to starting position and then your left hand goes down to your right foot. Next, you're going to see jog two laps. A jog is like a slow run, but faster than a walk. This is a cardio endurance exercise. You have a couple options for this. You may jog in place for 60 seconds, or if it's nice outside and it's safe, you can go outside and jog two laps around your house or your yard. Just make sure it's safe and okay with your parents for you to be outside. For our 30 second stretch today, we are going to do seated toe touches. This is a flexibility exercise. To do these, you're going to sit down with your feet straight out so your legs are flat. You're going to have your back flat and put your arms straight out in front of you. By bending at your back, you're going to lean over as far as you can and try to touch your toes. Make sure you keep your knees flat, do not bend them up, and reach as far as you can. If you can't reach your toes, that is fine. Just do as good as you can. You're going to hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Now we are going to be looking at jumping jacks. To do a jumping jack, you're going to stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side. You are standing straight up. You are going to jump. While you jump, you're going to spread your feet. While you're spreading your feet, you're also going to raise your arms up so they are near your head. You are going to land like that. Then you will jump again, landing back at the starting position. This is a cardio endurance exercise. Now we are going to be looking at squats. This is a muscular endurance exercise focused on your lower half. To do a squat, you're going to be standing straight up with your feet about shoulder width apart. And then your back is flat. You're going to pretend you are sitting down into a chair, bending your knees to a 90 degree angle. So it's like you're sitting in an air chair. Then you're going to stand up. When you are sitting down, make sure you keep that back flat and you are bending at your knees and not your back. For the 15 second leg stretch, we are going to do a standing quad stretch. To do this, you're going to be standing straight up. You're going to lift one leg up, 
and put your ankle in your hand, pulling it back. So one leg is behind you, the other is flat on the floor. You're going to try to remain balanced while pulling that leg up. After you do it for 15 seconds on one leg, you're going to switch legs and try it on the other one and hold it for another 15 seconds. For push-ups, this is a muscular endurance exercise. You're going to have both feet together flat on the floor, or you may put both knees together and have them on the floor. You're going to put your hands at a wide base with them flat on the floor, and you're going to hold yourself up. You should be flat like a table. Bending at your elbows, you're going to go down to the floor, so your elbows bend to about a 90 degree angle, and then you're going to push yourself back up. If you're doing these right, you should feel them in your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. For the 15 second leg stretch seated, we are going to do a hamstring stretch. You're going to put one leg out straight. Your other one will be bent with your foot next to your knee, kind of making the number four. When you have this set up, you're going to bend down towards your straight leg as far as you can go. You're going to hold it for 15 seconds, and then you're going to switch your legs. And then you will hold it down to the other leg for another 15 seconds. Now we're going to look at sit-ups. To do sit-ups, you are working on your abdominal muscles or your stomach muscles. It is a muscular endurance exercise. You're going to be laying on the floor. You're going to put your feet flat on the floor, bending your knees up. And then you're going to make an X on your chest. Without lifting those feet off the floor or going to the side, you're going to sit straight up, bringing your chest up to your legs and then you're going to go back flat on the floor. You will continue this motion. The last exercise we will look at today is planks. This is another muscular endurance exercise working on your core muscles. There are two variations of the plank we can do. The first you will see in the video. This is a normal plank. You are resting on your forearms, keeping your back flat and your feet flat on the ground. Notice his bottom is not in the air, making a triangle. He's flat like a table. If this is too difficult for yourself, instead of being on your forearms, put your hands on the floor and hold yourself up like you're going to do a push-up. But instead of going down and up, you remain in the up position. If both of those are too easy for you, you can alternate between the two throughout the exercise. You want to hold these for 30 seconds when you come across them.